Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to chat with you guys about 11 things I've done in the last 30 days that have saved our family over $2,000. Let's get right into it. The first one is we did have to buy a new refrigerator. It seems like in the last year and a half, all of our appliances have decided to die and go to heaven. So we needed to purchase new. So we bought a refrigerator, went to Lowe's. We had to order it from the manufacturer. I paid cash for it. The reason it saved me money is if I would have done a 12 months so interest, it would have cost $100 more. So by paying cash for it, they gave me a $100 discount. So that was a good savings. Number two, my daughter's cell phone was quite old. She went to purchase a new one and they had a deal for a year for a extra year on Metro PCS, a free phone line. So my daughter gave my husband, who has never had a cell phone, her older cell phone, and he's gonna use that phone, and he gets a free phone line for a year. It's already paid for, because what I do with my cell phone is in January, I actually pay for the complete year. Some bills, I actually pay for the year all at once. I like to do that if I can. So basically, we got a free 12 months of my husband um, cell phone services, which normally is about $30 a month. So that really saved. Number three, I have not gone to the Dollar Tree at all this month. I have been tempted, but I have not. Um, but I also haven't stopped at garage sales, and there's been a lot of them I've wanted to see. Haven't gone thrift store, so I haven't done that. Number four, I've just been mostly a homebody since my husband's gotten Roku. I've been really enjoying that, and so thank you, Al, for doing that. Okay, number five, and this I know sounds silly, but I want to just be totally honest. You guys know I'm very honest on this channel. I may not be the best example, but you, you see, what you see is what you get. Okay, um, when I am going around like my husband you know, and I are going to leave from a demo and go home, and I'm pretty tired after I do product demos because I put a lot out there. When you're when you're talking to all the customers and you're trying to promote and trying to sell, you use a lot of energy. So, you know, we're driving by all these yummy places like Wendy's and Chick-fil-A and Panda Express. It is so tempting rather than to fix something at home. It is so tempting to just want to go in and pick something up and go out to eat. Now, I can afford to do that. There's no reason why I can not occasionally eat out. I don't have a problem spending some money on eating out every now and then. But it's not something that I want to get into a habit several times a week because I wouldn't be able to save the money I'd do if I did that. So I didn't give in to temptation even though I smelled yummy food and I would have loved to have had um, a Chick-fil-A salad. I said, nope, we've got food at home. We can make sandwiches. We can have a bowl of cereal. If we don't feel like cooking, somebody can scramble eggs. We've got food at home. So I didn't give in to the temptation. Which brings me to number six. We've been eating a lot of leftovers and simple meals. And I'm going to show you a new way in another video of how I've been saving money in the kitchen. And something I don't really hear about a lot on YouTube. And I'll tell you about that in another video. Okay, number seven. Another temptation that I said no to. Okay. I have a friend of mine that got me Amazon Prime for like a, for a gift, and I enjoyed it for a short time. I just used it for free shipping, but I didn't continue with it because I don't order enough. Like I know people that order weekly, so I didn't keep that, even though it was nice to have. The other thing I was tempted to have is I wanted some things from Sam's, but I don't get out there that often. So I thought, oh, maybe they'll ship it to me. Well, if you up your membership, and I think it's $100 a year, we have a $45 membership, and I share it with a friend. And she usually, just as a gift to me, buys it once a year because I don't go to Sam's that often. Well, I was thinking, oh, I'd love to have that membership. But I thought, you know what? How many times do I shop at Sam's? Not that often. So I didn't up my membership. And it was kind of tempting, tempting for the convenience. But the thing is, is every time, this might sound crazy, but hear me out. Every time you think you try to save money, you could actually be spending money. You're downloading apps on your phone to save money, but you're spending money in order to save it. You join all these memberships thinking you're saving money or you're buying in bulk, but then it gets you out there spending money, you know, or you get a coupon for buy one, get the, you know, one free, but you got to go buy the one to get the other free. See what I'm saying at? A lot of these things get you spending money. Okay. Number eight, 
paid off the car, which is awesome. I'm very excited about that. And so I will not have any car payments. And actually, because we paid it off with the first bill that came to us, it saved us over $2,000 in interest by paying it off right away. Number 10, I've been keeping all of our bills organized. So as soon as I get a medical bill in, I pay it, I keep it organized, and I stay on top of my accounts daily. I know that saves me money because there's no late fees. Last but not least, I've been getting a lot of catalogs to order clothes, and I've been throwing them out. These are the 11 things that I've done to save our family a lot of money. I want to hear from you. What are some things you've done in the last 30 days that saved you and your family money? That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.